hi guys what is up it's ariel and welcome back to my channel so today i am in my car and i wanted to do a little car chat with you guys basically a few weeks ago i uploaded a testimony and i did it sitting in my car and that's because literally my car is like the only place on campus or anywhere that i can really just sit and talk it's tuesday so i just got off of work and my roommate is probably asleep in our room so i just didn't want to like go in and start talking and disrupt her but today i really wanted to do a faith video so I actually got a lot of really kind and loving feedback from my testimony that I uploaded and I was so nervous to upload it I didn't know what the feedback would be and I just want to thank you guys for being so open and kind and loving towards it it was really really encouraging to me and I really really want to do more videos like that and like this one today so basically today I kind of just wanted to sit down and just talk to you guys and share kind of what the Lord has been putting on my heart recently and I don't really know what I'm gonna title this yet but this is just basically going to be a video kind of about trusting in the Lord's provision and his promises and so this is something that I guess speaks really personally to me because this has been what's going on in my life lately and I hope it's something that speaks personally to you and encourages you as well I guess it's a little backstory I am currently a college student and I am actually in school for my second year so technically I'm a sophomore but next semester next fall semester I'm gonna be graduating and I graduate early in two and a half years Years. it definitely was not the original plan coming here and it was something that I kind of just discovered over the summer and the beginning of the school year and to say that it was overwhelming slash intimidating is kind of an understatement I was like oh my gosh what am I gonna do although I have an idea of what I would like to happen I don't exactly know what's gonna happen next and I feel like I'm such a planner I'm an Enneagram type 3 so I'm like a performer I love to plan things out and have it in my mind what's gonna happen I like to expect the future and I don't like feeling out of control. I don't like feeling like I don't know what's gonna happen. And so knowing that I'm gonna graduate but not having like a set in stone realistic plan is definitely something that is really intimidating to me and kind of scared me and overwhelmed me. But recently I think that the Lord has just putting these messages and these encouraging words on my heart. It really just been giving me a lot of peace with everything that's coming and I just kind of want to share with you what I've been learning and I guess what the Lord has been revealing to me so I have my little Bible notebook here it says faith on it I actually got it for five bucks at Target which is a super good deal and I kind of wrote down some of the things that the Lord has just been teaching me through this first semester and through this process of figuring everything out the first one is that God is purposeful God is creative and God is generous in our stories and so the other day I listened to this podcast that my friend Kylie sent me it's called a beautiful story so it's this woman Mia Fields she's a Christian songwriter it's her story of how she kind of met her husband and got married but more than that it's the story of how God worked in her life and was so creative and purposeful in writing her story and how everything was just so perfectly aligned in the end and I think that is a reminder to me more than just meeting a husband or more than just like a love story but more than that I think it's God's story for my own life it's a reminder that God is so purposeful he is so purposeful in all the things that he does in our lives and he's so creative in the way he does it no one's life no one's story is the same and I think God is also really generous in our lives and I've seen that especially this year how God is so generous to me to even have an education to even have the ability to graduate early and have all these doors opening I think God is also really generous too with this semester I have this internship that I love and I brought you guys along with me too but that was a door that he definitely opened and then also the women who own that business and work there they're both believers and he's so generous with me to give me mentors here in Lynchburg and so that's something that's really been on my heart recently and that I've seen that God is so purposeful God is so creative and God is so generous with our stories and so it's really exciting actually it's not really intimidating to await the future and to see what the Lord is going to be doing in our lives and so the second thing that the Lord has really just been showing me is to have faith and I think the word faith gets thrown around a lot but I really like the way that Mia Fields presented it in her podcast and she said faith is believing in the unseen and it's also looking for evidence and so for me the unseen is kind of just my future I guess what's past this past like what I know right now which is being in school and being in college 
faith is believing in that the Lord is going to work and the Lord is going to provide in this next chapter of life that's coming up so fast. And not even that, faith is also believing that the Lord is working and that he is good and he's going to work past the next season and the next season and the next season and he's going to continue to do that and provide for me. And she also said that faith is looking for evidence and I really like what my pastor said on Sunday. I went to church this Sunday and he said to write down what the Lord is doing in our lives and I've done that for a while. I've always journaled and I've always written down cool stuff that's been happening or just moments in my life because I want to remember but I really like the perspective of writing everything down so we can remember not only what's going on but what God has done and what he's doing and that's evidence for the way that he's moving in our lives and the way that he loves us and is pursuing us and so that's another thing that God has just been teaching me is to have faith but also along with having faith too is remember the evidence and so when I'm going through those times I'm like you know God are you really moving are you doing things in my life like I have less and less of evidence of stuff that God is just doing and providing for me the next thing that I have been learning is abiding in Christ I feel like the word abide gets thrown around a lot and yesterday I kind of did like a little in-depth study on the word abide I was reading first John chapter 2 and I have been trying to read the New Testament and all the smaller books this semester and so I have my Bible here Basically, 1 John chapter 2 is just talking about walking in Christ and abiding in Him and knowing that He is our advocate and that as believers we should be walking in light and we shouldn't be loving the things of this world and we should just ultimately be abiding in Him. And as someone who's grown up in the church, I've heard the word abide thrown around a lot, but I've never really looked into what it meant. And so yesterday, according to just the dictionary, abide means to remain stable or in a fixed state to accept or act in accordance with and then according to the bible dictionary abide means to await remain lodge dwell endure or sojourn and in hebrew yashaba i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but i'm gonna put that on the screen means to dwell and meno means to remain and those are both translations of abide reading first john chapter two abide was written nine times and i think that is so cool that it's nine times or repeated nine times in here because this chapter is really like okay you need to abide you need to abide in the lord and you need to hold on to that as you walk through life and you know different things are coming and so for me i can really see that in my life abiding in christ means that i am remaining in him and i'm awaiting in him and i'm dwelling in him and so in this season of just like not knowing what's going on and having fear of the future i can abide in christ i can dwell in him he's my resting place he's my home he's where i can remain and i belong and i can await for his promises and i think that is so beautiful and i think that translates to every season of life even if you do know what's going on god is our dwelling place god is our home and he wants us to rest in him and i think when we abide in him and we rest in him no matter the circumstances of life we can have peace and so i hope for you guys if you don't know your future if you're making college decisions or if you're leaving college or you're in a job or whatever it is or even if you know what's going on and it's stable and you just want to know that the Lord is pursuing you and writing a story and he's not done with you yet. These are just my words of encouragement to you guys. I love you guys so much and I'm praying over you guys. I'll see you next time with a new video and until then, bye.